like that okay if the remaining volume of the soup is not enough to complete this operation we will uh, serve as uh, much as possible so as we can see that the mls are actually the multiple of 25 so we can have a one a serving i can have one glass a glass of 25 ml in which the liquid will come of 25 ml and i will say it as a one serve so basically as we could see uh, it's just to make the problem a bit more numerical a bit more realistic you can also go in this ml wise also that is completely okay but it's just to actually make it more simpler to actually visualize cool so what we did was okay we just make one serving of 25 ml so now i can just rewrite the problem itself to says i have Operation one as to serve four serving of soup A and zero serving of soup B. Operation two is to serve three serving of soup A and one serving of soup B and so on and so forth. Now, uh, you will say, I didn't buy this three or four serving. You mean exactly if it is uh, the serving of three, you are seeing exactly 75 ml, but not sure. The ml, it can also be not the multiple of 25. So if it is not, then I can simply say, okay, it is actually 1.96 serves, but I can't take it as 1.96 because a serve is a complete serve. It should be a natural number. That's the reason I was actually converting the mls into a serve, that it should actually become more into numerical forms, like number form. So we just simply say, rather than taking as 1.96, I'll take the seal value of this and it will just give me two serves. And why it won't give me any issue? Because it is specifically mentioned, if the remaining volume of the soup is not enough to complete the operation, we will serve as much as possible. So even if it was 26 ml, still I would have said it will be two serves because it will just give me, okay, if it is 26 ml, just give me two serves one serve of 25 ml other serve whatsoever is remaining is the next serve which is the last serve which is one ml serve cool now we have got okay we will just convert this particular ml part into the number of serve part now coming back to the problem that what we have to do just say okay uh, the probability of the soup a and for sure it's just a one note that we do not have an operation where all 100 mls of soup are being used that is actually not not much important but it will actually be helpful in the intuition part so please remember this point cool I have to return what? Return the probability of a soup A remember soup A will be empty first will be empty first first is a major part plus half the probability that A and B becomes empty at the same time which means if the soup A becomes empty first okay the probability I will be giving which is for sure okay if the soup A is becoming empty first it's actually giving us a probability and if both A and B are becoming, are becoming empty at the same time then please do the probability half whatsoever you have cool now look at the example by that example itself most of the time by the example itself you will be able to visualize okay what's happening what's not we have n50 which means i will just say i will have two serves both of soup a and soup b like i will visualize it by okay i by saying i serves of soup a and j serves of soup b now why i and j are in both will remain same at every point of time i'll say no because you know that by doing the operation i will be using some serves i will use let's say one serve of soup a and three serves of soup b so initially they are same that's okay but as we go on forward these serves i and j which means the serve of soup a and the serve of soup b will change that's the reason i took i took as i and j and not as i and i now okay i have i and j saying okay i have two serves which means i have i serves of soup a i serves of soup b now coming on to the example itself we will not put our brains at all we'll just try to understand why is that happening so it just says a will become empty first if a is becoming empty first he is adding for the first two operations a will become empty first for that he is adding a one by that we can just simply infer and as we also saw okay if the a will become empty first I and J are the serves, which means A will become empty first. A is the serve of, A is the serve of soup A, which means A I, I was a serve of soup A. It should become zero first, which means J is still not zero. J is still not zero. It is still something, but I has become a zero. 
If it is a case, then I will simply say my probability is 1. As you can easily see that it is also written here. Cool. Now, other point it says is if A and become empty at the same time, okay, it is saying it is a 0 0.5 for that, which means I will just say when A and B become empty at the same time, which means I and J both are 0 at this point of time, which means both serves of sub A and serves of sub B, which means I and J both have become 0, for sure I will have a probability as 0 0.5. And if B will become empty first, which means if B will become empty first, oh, that's a probability of 0, which means I will just say if the B will become empty first, because ultimately I was concerned about only A will become empty first. For that, I added a 1. And A and B at the same time, but taking the half the probability, okay, I just did a half, simply 0.5. But if B is becoming empty first, which means I'm not, I'm not concerned about that for sure, which means J has become 0, but still, I has not become a 0, which means the serve of sub A has not become a 0, but the serve sub B has become a 0. So for sure, return a probability of 0. That is by the example itself we have got to know. Okay, all these conditions are there. And for sure, we can also see one point, okay, of 0 0.25. Why is that? It is also done here itself. We will choose from the four operations with an equal probability of 0 0.25, which is 1 by 4. So by this, I can easily say that my ultimate answer, which I wanted, my probability of soup A becoming a 0 and the, 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 the entire stuff, the entire line, this entire line is the answer, right? Is the answer, right? So I will just say, okay, by representing this as a probability of what my input input i will just say i my input is soup a and soup b please remember although initially both are same but yeah my input is soup a and soup b serves cool so i just said okay my input was probability of so sorry what i want to return the, as the answer was the probability of i and j and but the question itself i just saw okay it is one by four one by four what probability when i just do a serve i just I just used four serves of soup A and zero of soup B. I used, I used four serves. Out of I serves, I used four serves of soup A and zero of soup B. Next operation was, I used three serves of soup A and one of soup B. Three of soup A, one of soup B. Cool. Next operation was, two of soup A, two of soup B. Cool. Two of soup A, two of soup B. Cool. Fourth operation was one of soup A, three of soup B. Cool. One of soup A and three of soup B. So by that I can easily see, easily see. Okay, my question was converting to this form, and for sure we can easily see it's actually recursive problem because for sure I'm again going on the same, 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 same part. For sure, it's a recursive call being made, and we can also see. Okay, it is I minus four and J, I minus two, J minus two. It can again come to an overlapping problem where I and J will ag again become same at any point of time. So for sure, I can also apply memoization part which is the dp part so we can also know okay the probability we have seen for sure probability we have seen we can also see okay how is the recursive function is being made and for sure we can for sure memoize it and make it as a dp question so our question is done but hold on hold on have we counted the complexity of this problem the complexity will be nothing but o of i into j although initially both are same so i and j were what i and j were the serves if we go back the question constraints were saying ML part. So I will convert in my N ML into N serves. So basically saying, okay, I have M serves. N ML upon 25, which will give me serves. So it is 1 E 9 upon 25, which is 4 into 1 E 7 serves. So by this formula, everything was a serve. So it will be O of M square, which is I will a maximum go to M, M serves. J will also go to maximum of M serves. So it will be O of M square. And M we saw it is 4 into 1 is 7. So it will be actually 4 into 1 is 7 the whole square. 16 into 1 is 14. That will not work. Even after applying DP, that won't work. So basically, I just saw ultimately my competition will reach to DP of MM. So it won't work. So what I will do now? Now comes the part of what we can do. So by this, firstly, I will just show you okay, what we have done and then how to think of the intuition part of that. Now, it is the first time I am showing you what we have done and then the intuition because the intuition for this is very, 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 very hard to actually understand the first point. That's the reason you can see the rating stuff because it's not that, intu that intuitive at all, at all. It's just, if you just go back, if you have very mathematical brain, good. We, as a normal humans, don't. We have a good one. We have 
made it made like made it good, but we have not that great brain in mathematics. It in mathematics, so for sure. So what if we just see what we have done for sure? If we just see and visualize how the data would look like, that we can easily see. Okay, one one. It is 0 0.62, 2 2 0 0.62, 3 3 increase, 4 4 increase, 5 5 increase. Cool. Now it's you can see it's increasing, it's increasing, it's increasing, it's increasing, it's increasing. Oh, 200 200, it's 1. 250 1. 250 1. You saw it was increasing, increasing, increasing at one point of time, which means at 200 200. Here it is M, M, which means serves. It became as a 1. It became as a 1. It became as a 1. Who? Which means. At one point of time, and see, it is just M as 200 serves. After that, I can for sure say my answer will always be one. So that is that is, or for sure it's a super non non intuitive. So no worries on that. But if you were not able to understand that, or you were saying, okay, yeah, how I I will do it, put an interview. If you have seen from now, now if you if it happens in an interview, now I can teach you, okay, how you will tell the intuition in an interview itself. But if it would have been the first time in the interview, for sure there would be very less chances you would actually be able to see. Because in an interview, you can't run. Oh, I will run in my Google interview and we'll see what's output. No, you just write in a notepad or something like that, right? You can't run. But now you have seen it, now you know the intuition. What will happen? I'll 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 teach. No worries, no worries. So now we can see, okay, after some time, after some point of time. It will actually be tending to one and it will actually become one after some point of time. And which means M as 200 serves. Which means for the remaining serves from 200 to 4 into 1 is 7, answer will always be one. Boom. Which means, although, 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 the exact proof, okay, why it's happening mathematically, it's the, it's a way too big proof and way too mathemat mathematical proof. You will see in this particular post by this person, that's actually a very, very, very good and very big proof. I read it, but it's very hard to explain that in this video. It will take at least half an hour or more just to explain the proof mathematically. So that is not required at all for you. And see, it, it would need a high mathematical brain also. Cool. Uh, now, coming on to the intuitional proof, which is actually super helpful for you to actually specify in an interview. Why is that happening? Cool. Now, coming back to now, like, yeah, right now I'm doing a problem of this bowl A and bowl B, the soup A and soup B, coming back to a normal standard problem of probabilities, which we have of the head and tails. Now, if I am saying in this point is my DP of M comma M, which means MM, it tends to one when M tends to infinity. And infinity, as I say, is a high number. And high number for me is more than 200. Now, coming back to why is that the case? If we just go and look back at a standard toss problem, if we just say, okay, if I have a coin, if I do tosses as 10. Now, my expected is, okay, head or tails. So, I'm saying the probability of getting exactly 5 heads, it is 0 0.25. But, 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 if I say, okay, if I just ask you the probability of my getting and falling outside of the range of 4 to 6, which means head as 4 and 6 and head as 6 outside this range which means from 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I just ask you in these head ranges, the probability will be 0 0.34 for 10 tosses. Now, if I increase the tosses, if I just take 30 tosses, that outside range probability which means outside my 12 to 18 range, outside this range, it will be 0 0.34. Zero. You are you see it is reducing. Cool. Now for hundred times as I increase the number of tosses again. If I just see outside this range, outside this range, forty to sixty, it is actually zero point zero three five. It reduces drastically. For three hundred tosses, it is four point one into mine into ten to the power minus four, which means zero point zero 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 four one. For outside this range of one twenty to one eighty, you saw. As this range outside is decreasing, which means inside range is actually inside probability is actually increasing. That's what I'm saying. The key idea for this is the more times we toss a fair coin, the more likely the number of heads will be close to the expected value. As we increase the number of tosses, the probability will reach more to the expected value it has. And that is the reason we have a law of large numbers. It just states that as more trials are performed, the results, it tends more towards the expected value. It is just a, theorat a theoretical law. For the proof, I just stated that you have to go entirely on the proof part. But now it we saw, okay, it is for the coins part. How it is related to us? 
coming back to us for the super and super as you know the operations in the part i will reduce it by 4 3 2 and 1 serves right for the super i will reduce by 4 3 2 and 1 serves now as i do this reduction i know the probability for this re for this reduction will be 5 by 2 same goes for the sub b but you saw it will actually be a 0 1 2 and 3 you saw above right it will be a 0 1 2 and 3 0 1 2 and 3 right now as it is a 0 1 2 and 3 the probability of reduction will be 3 by 2 now consider the fact it was not saying a 4 4 will not come in picture why it was specifically mentioned that's the reason, I, that, that's the reason. it was specifically mentioned that we do not have an operation with all 100 ml of soup b are used as first remember that part that's the reason 4 did not come in this particular reduction probability part now coming back to okay it is a probability of reduction of soup a and for soup b now i just assumed any number now why i assume this number i'll let you know but I just assumed a number after completing 2m by 5 operations. Why are you chose this number so that I can bring out that okay? Initially, I have m servings of soup A, m servings of soup B. Now I wanted my soup A to finish first. So I wanted ultimately my soup A, which means m servings to finish first. So I know my reduction is going by 5 by 2 times, right? So I wanted my M servings to finish first for soup A. So ultimately I wanted for my soup A, M should finish first. So if I have all the operations and it will just reduce it by 5 by 2 times. So ultimately 2M by 5 into 5 by 2, it will just cut and it will just say, okay, your N M servings are finished after 2M by 5 five operations just saying okay now my soup a is finished after doing these many operations right cool now for soup b what is the state after all these many operations you know the reduction is 3 by 2 so 2m by 5 into 3 by 2 give me 3m by 5 as the num as the okay uh, reduction okay how many servings of soup b has been reduced for soup a m soups m servings have been reduced for soup b 3m by 5 servings have been reduced for soup a number of remaining servings are 0 for soup b number of remaining servings are 2m by 5 now now it is a point for soup a servings remaining are zero which is what we wanted for soup b it is still showing some as the servings remaining that is the reason i can just say i have soup b as some servings remaining while soup a is already empty at these many number of operations and that's how i just say that when m is small i will have some probability for sure but as the m grows larger and larger i will for sure can say that my soup a will for sure finish that is the reason the, 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 the probability of finishing soup a will actually be a one that's the reason it is just by the law of large numbers that as it keeps on becoming large we will for sure can say that my soup a will for sure finish first and that is how you can tell in an interview that okay how you got to a point that you can actually think of that okay as my number keeps on going large and you can just actually show in the uh, interview itself okay S see the interviewer as the as the number is going large i can actually prove that as, as the number is going large by this also the standard uh, a coin toss and actually how you read to your problem you can actually show in an interview as this mathematical proof not exactly mathematical but yeah it's intuitional plus mathematical that you can actually show in the interview as the numbers growing large your actually probability will tend to one so at a point you can actually break it down and break it down and, and you can actually say your answer is actually will always be a one so what we will do you can just simply say as my probability keeps on increasing and reaches beyond this 0.9995 number i'll simply keep on returning a one because i know if my probability has gone this far as it is going more than this number 0.9955 so for sure it will for sure be a one so as it, ex as it exceeds this number five i'll simply say okay simply return a one because for sure going forward it will always return a one because it will always be one now why is that the case because i can simply say uh, my precision is money five uh, money uh, minus five so i can simply say this fact that okay one minus uh, minus money five any if my probability is more than this number simply simply return a one so i will just simply add a condition in my code as soon as my probability is increasing this number, increasing this number, I simply return a 1. Now, 
what will happen with this is your capacity earlier it was o of m into m but m was earlier 4 into 1 is 7 but now it will actually get reduced to 200 only because after 200 it will actually keep on becoming a 1 for sure it will become a o of m square which is o of 4 into 1 is 4 and that's how you can simply solve it the code is pretty 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 simple the exact same stuff which we saw above the base cases as we saw while looking at the example itself just going backward for you guys only and only the first base case as we saw if i and j uh yeah it is the three base cases which we saw but please make sure that you write them in the order itself that first both if i and j are zero please return a 0.5 if i becomes zero but j is not 0.1 sorry uh, one and if uh, i is not zero j is zero simply a zero that's three base cases which is which we saw above so i just simply wrote the three base cases 0.5 1 and 0 as we have we know okay we are having a recursive calls we know we have to memoize it we know we have to memoize i and j we know why i and j are different because for sure we are reducing the number of serves i and j differently for both sup a and sup b so for sure we will have i and j as a factor i and j will simply do a memoization now simply i will memoize it here itself and will compute 1e4 into what we saw above as we simply saw above everything we have seen above it is simply this part as we saw above 1 e 4 into the probability part as we saw above i minus i minus 4 into j i minus 4 comma j i minus 3 comma j minus 1 so on and so forth we sh we wrote the exact same uh, point here i minus 4 comma j i minus 3 comma j minus 1 i minus 2 comma j minus 2 and i minus 2 comma j minus 3 upon 4 because it is specifically mentioned 1 by 4 all have equal chances of occurring now it is the recursive call which we will make but 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 as we saw above also we will have the m servings for us and that's a seal number we saw why we need a seal number because we'll if even if we have 26 ml we will have two servings for it now as we saw we have to break at a point although we are going in up till m but for sure m if m is very large which means more than 200 we know all the all the you can also put a condition of m as an exact number but why what if you don't know the exact number of m but he, you just know, okay, at one point of time, it will actually be more. And it will, add, it, it, it will actually stay one. So you just ask and say, um, if my, I'm going from one to M, um, I'm just asking if my, if my, this probability, because you know, your probability at any point of time is M, M, right? Which is actually for every M, it is K, K, where K is moving from one to M, right? So you will ask if it, probability has become more than this number as i showed you above also it will be 1 minus 1 e 5 1 minus 1 e minus 5 if it becomes than that then for sure your answer will keep on staying one forever so simply return a one but if it is not which means if you have gone up till m operations and which means your m was very less so it will never come to this point which means you have found your answer for m operations simply return the probability of m comma m because it is the answer for i comma j for you and that's how you can simply solve the answer and for sure your uh, capacity of m into m where m is not exactly 1 e 4 sorry 4 into 1 e 7 it's actually 200 right yeah code is down below if you want java python code that's also you can just see from uh, this itself but yeah see you in goodbye to goodbye i hope that you guys got the intuition see in an interview you can't go mathematically because while explaining the mathematical proof itself there's a high chance interview might not know what the mathematical proof also so please say the intuitional mathematical proof which you saw right cool bye bye thank you so much goodbye